many amazing airplanes here, right? I guess there's only one I'm catching today, which is a 747, Queen of the Skies. Best. And Seriously? Sam. Yeah, on yeah. the 747 too. These won't be around much longer. So. Good choice. Good yeah. choice. Going upstairs today. Conditions okay. class. Guten Tag from the Lufthansa 747 upper deck. I'm traveling to Germany today to see some of the new generation products launching on Lufthansa very soon. Thank you. the pond onto the other side of Atlantic um, I look really tired because I had a few hours sleep then over Greenland we have a lot of turbulence rocking the 747 the seat I'm sitting on right here has serious shortcomings there was literally no privacy and the footwell was really small so it was feeling really narrow when you sleep the Korean Air 747-8 when I flew two weeks ago has 22 business class seats up the upper deck the Lufthansa one has 32 seats. There are 10 more seats they squeeze in on the same 747 8 upper deck. But well, I'm really hoping the uh, new product I'm gonna see soon is gonna replace these old product. The good news is they're gonna install on these 747, so that's gonna make the 747 live longer. Hopefully it will fly 10, 15 more years in the sky. Standing at this former East German power plant, and today we're gonna see the Lufthansa new products, Allegris. And this is the Lufthansa new first class, the first class suite here. And what I really got surprised is there's a double suite, it's not just a single suite, you can have a company here together. How cool is that to enjoy the television screen and all that, right? Yeah, welcome to the new Lufthansa First Class Suite Plus, uh, which we're showing here. This suite uh, will come on the A350 and will be launched in 2024. You have a unique setup with two seats next to each other. So it's either one person or a couple can fly in here. We show you your own personal wardrobe. 
with a large mirror inside the suite. You have a large storage inside the ottoman where you can fit two of your carry-on bags. One of the highlights is the big uh, main IV screen which is 43 inches. This is in the middle of the aircraft. Um, you have when both seats go into bed mode you have a 126 centimeter wide bed. You control your, comp your suite with a um, with this tablet uh -huh. through which you can control seat motion. Yeah. You can control the IFE, scroll through the videos, and also the lighting inside the suite. So the doors that we have, or the curtains, are sound deadening. So they really allow the passengers to have this really quiet suite, and it makes you feel quite secure. So it's, it's it's actually like a curtain. It is a curtain, and it's got sound deadening material inside of it. So it just really makes that. Whole How do you close this? Like. Yeah. So it's got magnets in here. Oh, okay. So there's a little runner up at the top, and it allows you just to. Put it together. How tall is your suite, actually? 70 inches for all of the suite, and it's nearly full height in the A350. One thing we didn't want to do is sort of change the way that the aircraft is built. So we are kind of keeping just below that. When you're sitting here, you've got a correct lumbar. Mm. So when we do get the dining table out, it actually makes you feel quite comfortable rather than you think that you're going to hit the back of the screen. You've got this really nice movement. The ottoman tracks forward, it gives you that really great position and it's actually the same height as that seat so the table is big enough for two people to really enjoy dining you're instagrammer at work it's hard work this i'm sweating ah beautiful this though <laughs> yeah what do you think about it so far um i think it's very impressive calming um, comfortable, spacious. I think this is somewhere where you're going to sit in the sky and forget how many hours you're flying. Uh, hey, hey, we just tested. Four of us all can fit into one first class suite. It's very spacious. Very welcome to our new business class here. We're sitting in the business class first row, which we call the business class suite. And suite because you have this walls around you and the closing closed doors that gives you more privacy. And um, we have two meter long beds uh, in uh, every seat. We have, which is a really unique feature, seat heating and cooling. So you can have your own microclimate um, in here. Oh, you can do your own climate. Absolutely. There's a seat heating and cooling as you know it from the car. Your suite is like a two seater, like a double suite, and then followed by a one solo seat in the right. middle. Right. So it's like two and then one and, and then two one, staggered. And, again two. and behind the suite is our extra space seat. And then behind that we have extra long bed seat for people like me who are big, like a uh, two meter 20 long bed. But also we have a mini bar here, below, below here, uh, where you have your, your own drinks. Uh -huh. uh, so your individual drinks. And these could become an individual suite in the middle as well Absolutely. with a divider up. Absolutely. You can, there are dividers here, so it can be either traveling together or traveling alone. We have large screens. Um, 27, 27 inch 4K screens. Um, we have this, uh, what we call passenger control units that you can also mirror to your own device. You can control the whole seat with your own device also. Now, when do you um, expect the first aircraft to have this product? That will be available in autumn. In the year. autumn? In autumn this year. It will yeah. be on a newly delivered Dreamliner or A350? Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. When do you expect to retrofit some of the existing aircraft? We will have retrofits uh, from 2025 on. 2025 yeah, onward. Absolutely. We are concentrating on the line fits first for the 787 and then the 350. Right. And uh, then we're doing the retrofits. Hey, this is a lot better than that 747 business class I was on, right? This is the new business class coming on board. Uh, really, there's four configurations from so far I've observed. There's a window seat, there's an aisle seat, there's a double suite in front in the middle, and there's also this solo middle suite. People like this, it's called a throne suite. So earlier I was saying I'm not a big fan of the uh, shoe box in front of me, right? To go inside my feet. But the gentleman says, Sam, why don't you give a try with uh, fully go fully flat? Um, and when I gone fully flat, I noticed the shoulder room is improved. Definitely there's a lot more room on the shoulder. And actually the foot box is also bigger than before. This is not so good. Yeah. I could not recline to someone, but my feet is kind of hitting. You know, I'm not a fan with the fixed shell uh, premium economy because 
I can recline and I'm just sliding forward here. And you know, now my feet, it's already hitting the bottom here. I think there's two solutions, right? I have to lose weight or I have to take the front row. <laughs> Simple as that. We got all the crowd that are interested in first in business, but 80%, 90% people do travel in the economy. So I have to really be fair on here. I do feel more comfortable, honestly, in this seat than in premium economy. Because premium economy is a shell. I can only go forward. I can't go backward, right? The economy can let you uh, recline backward. But however, I think Lufthansa cheated a little bit, right? This is not the standard pitch, 31. This is the 34. The first three rows have more extra space. This one is a little bit glorified, I have to say. But what I'm really enjoying is um, the shape of this back seat here, how they design the seat pockets here. It's pretty smart to utilize the space to give you a little bit more knee space, which is really much appreciated. So, and first impression is it's got a huge television screen as well. So, um, you know, I guess the evolution of the economy is still very limited compared to first in business class. Uh, that's where the money is in first in business, right? And that is a wrap of the show today. Next is get its new products onto the airplane. See you there. <laughs>